Hi, Mom. Happy 39 years of being an amazing teacher. You are definitely my favorite teacher. Um, you have taught me throughout my life that a job slash career is something you should love and be excited for every day and just give it your all. And you have supported me throughout my career um, to do what I love. And, you know, I just want to thank you for that. Um, I'm sure having a kid going into the creative field is not on the highest of lists of parents, um, but you supported me, believed in me, you let me figure it out on my own, on my own and make mistakes and get back up. And I can honestly say that I have a career that I love, that I wake up every day for, that just inspires me. And I've learned that from you. Um, so thank you for that. And with all of that said, I'm excited for this next chapter in your life. Um, excited to see what hobbies you pick up. You know me, big hobbier, love good hobby. So I hope we can do some things together. Maybe we can figure out that cricket. Um, I'm excited um, to just travel the world with you and you know cross off some bucket list items on there. And most of all, I'm excited to watch you become a grandmother. I think that's gonna be the most rewarding and exciting time in your life. So, cheers and thank you for everything. We love you. Thanks for being the best mom and best teacher ever. I would like to throw in just congratulations on 39 years of teaching and being at the same job. I don't know anybody else who has been at one single job for 39 years. That to me is like, who does that? Apparently only you do, um, which is a great accomplishment. So congratulations. Congratulations on the new baby coming in, new responsibilities and new opening up a new chapter in your Harry Potter book personal Harry Potter books. So, can't wait to see what's in store for you. Cheers. Cheers again. We love you. Love you. Hey mom, we just wanted to say we're so proud of all of your accomplishments at work that you made. Everything you've done with those kids, the, the kids that turned into parents and you taught their kids and then their kids. Um, that was, well, we're so happy for the friends and family you made at work with your friends. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all summer now that you have more time. And uh, your grandson looks forward to meeting you and seeing you soon. All right, we'll see you later. Hey, Gloria. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. Um, I'm really happy for you. Um, sad for us. Emory Park is going to miss you immensely. I'm going to miss you. Um, I'm so glad that our friendship has grown over the years. And now with your retirement, you're going to have more time for me. So uh, anyway, still maintain, you're one of the best teachers I've ever seen. Uh, I, you, like I said, we're gonna just miss you so much, um, but enjoy your retirement. You've earned it, my friend. Hi, Bestie, congratulations on your retirement. I'm so glad I was able to work with you for many years and so grateful you became my Bestie. I'll always be here for you and I can't wait to see all the places we will go. I mean, all the places you will go. I'm so thankful you're beginning this wonderful chapter in your life. And I know many new wonderful things are gonna begin for you. So God bless you and I cannot wait to hang out. I love you like the sky. Congratulations. Hi Gloria, I'm sorry I can't be there today, but have fun and congratulations. You've been a great teacher, fantastic teacher. It was a great experience working with you. You taught me a lot, and because of you, I became the teacher that I became. Well, I look forward to spending time with you in retirement. Have fun. Hi, Gloria. I'm just wishing you um, a happy retirement. I hope you enjoy your free time off. I'm looking forward to you coming back and helping me out. Enjoy being a grandma and I hope you get to travel a lot. Hey Gloria, we wanted to wish you happy retirement and we can't believe that 
it's already here. I thought you would be teaching until the end of time, but so many people are gonna miss you being a teacher. I wasn't ever a student, but I had the privilege of being best friends with your daughter. <laughs> and so growing up, we always had A's in school <laughs> because you were our teacher. And let me tell you, that mission, the San Gabriel mission we did in the fourth grade was your A plus because <laughs> you worked so hard on that mission. And I wanna thank you for everything. Thank you for always being there for me and being such an amazing teacher and an amazing mom to Chrissy. So happy retirement and baby, you wanna say anything? Oh yeah, to this day and <laughs> forever, I'm gonna think that you know everything because you're a teacher. So we're always gonna ask you all the questions and expect the right answer, Gloria. But we do wish you the best and we can't wait till we can get together and celebrate this with you, have a drink and just uh, talk about all the stories that you shared with us. Yeah. We wish you nothing but the best in retirement. It comes at a perfect time with the, the with the birth of your baby, your grandson coming soon. So you're gonna enjoy retirement and we're so happy for you. Happy retirement, Gloria. We love you. We do love you. Can't wait to celebrate. Bye. Bye. Congratulations, Gloria. We're so happy and excited for you. On to the next big adventure. Uh, can't wait to see you again, hopefully soon. Um, we love you and we're just so happy for you. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, yeah, sit back, relax now, enjoy. Have a margarita. Hi, Gloria. Congratulations on your retirement. You've done an outstanding job as a teacher. You're a wonderful friend, mom, and now a new grandma. I can't wait to see and hear all the stories that are you'll be creating in this new chapter of your life. Congratulations, my friend. Hey, Gloria. Congratulations. You did it. 39 years in the books. That is just an amazing, amazing, remarkable accomplishment. And I feel pretty lucky that I can say that I was your last principal. Um, just thinking about the right words to say to you and, I, and I, I come back to this quote that I have on my wall right behind me. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. I think that applies to you. I think you found your gift in helping others around you, whether it be students, whether it be staff, whether it be parents. You have helped everybody that you have come across the entire time that you've been here. You've helped me more than you know. You've supported me more than you know. And for that, I will be eternally grateful and thankful that you and I have been colleagues. Uh, I look forward to this next chapter where we now continue our friendship. But above all else, I just want to congratulate you and wish you nothing but the best in this next chapter of your life. Hey, Gloria, just wanted to congratulate you on retirement. I'm jealous. Uh, we had lots of great years at Emory Park. I know that you will probably continue to stay as busy as you did when you were teaching with Ray's new baby on the way, and I'm sure Chrissy will have some art projects or creative things to do with you, maybe even a little traveling. Uh, enjoy retirement. Very excited for you. Keep in touch. Love you. Hi, Gloria. Congratulations on your retirement. I just want to say thank you to you for being an inspiration to me as an educator and as a mom. I remember meeting you for the first time as a substitute at Emory Park. Um, and you were, right from the get-go, you were very friendly and welcoming and you uh, told me if I needed anything, I can come to you. So I remember that. And um, when I became a teacher at Emory Park, you continue to be that wonderful support for me. I know that no matter what, whatever question I have, I can always come to you because you're always willing to share your experience, your guidance to me with me. So I appreciate that about you. Another thing I really appreciate about you is how you have such a positive relationship with your student, your students. Um, I can see that you put a lot of 
joy. You bring a lot of joy to your classroom and the, your students really have been blessed to be your students. They have a, a teacher who not only make learning fun, but they also know that you love them, you care about them, and they work hard for you because they know that you're there for them. So I love that example of you um, connecting with your students. Um, another thing I really appreciate about you is how you're just a wonderful mom to uh, Chrissy and to Ray, and I love hearing your stories about them and how you have such a fun time with your kids. And I hope that I can be like that with my boys. So thank you for being an inspiration to me as a teacher and as a mom. Um, I wish you a wonderful retirement where you can just relax, sleep in, and enjoy your time with your family and, and be a grandma, all of that. So thank you again for being my support, my friend, and congratulations. Congratulations, Gloria, on your great achievement. You are such an inspiring person for me. Over the years, I've learned so much from you. Um, I'm truly gonna miss you, and I hope that you keep in touch, and I see you around Emory Park. Congratulations, yay! Yay! Hi, Gloria. I wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on your retirement. You've been an amazing teacher, and I wish you the best. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Hey, Ms. Ramirez, or Gloria, um, you know, I know you're retiring. I've only really worked with you for about a year now, but it was really a joy to work with you. And um, I feel like even though it was such a short time, I feel really close to you. And um, I don't know, I think that has a lot to do with you and who you are and your character. And, you know, I, I'm sad that um, you're leaving Emory Park, you're leaving us, um, but I'm really happy for you and really happy for your grandson. Um, I know he's just gonna be really, really, really well loved. Um, but yeah, I just hope that as you uh, start your retirement, as you continue your retirement, as you uh, continue to volunteer at Emory Park, that relationship, that friendship that you and I have had um, just continues to grow and grow and that I get to learn more and more from you um, in terms of how to love the kids, how to really teach them more than just the academic, but like how to live life and how to be successful at living life. And so I just appre really appreciated my time with you. It's probably the shortest out of all the videos here, but um, yeah, it was just, it was, it was just awesome. It was just awesome. So congratulations, Gloria. Um, I'm happy for you. Don't forget about us. Hi, Ms. Ramirez. Ms. Ramirez, we want to wish you a very, very happy, enjoyable, safe retirement. We're going to miss you dearly at school, and we thank you for everything you did for our kids, for students, for Emory Park, for PTA. You're going to be missed dearly, but I'm so happy for you. I'm jealous in a happy way, and I hope that we get to see each other in the near future. All my best to you. Ms. Ramirez, thank you so much for being an amazing teacher and an amazing student council supervisor. I just want you to know that in your class when we learned about artists and art styles, that was one of the beginning moments where I became very passionate in art. And that is why now I am in CSR, the school that I love very much. All thanks to you. Bye, Ms. Ramirez. Be well and stay safe. Hello, Mrs. Ramirez. This is your old buddy, Mr. Taylor. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. I know you're going to have a wonderful time. And I know you're going to be busy, especially since you've got that new grandbaby coming. Just know you will be missed by all, especially me. We've had so many laughs together over the years. It's going to be really funny not seeing you there every day. But again, congratulations. Oh, and P.S., I'll call you every once in a while and tell you to check on your sugar. Bye. Hi, Ms. Ramirez. Just here, want to say thank you for everything. You will be missed. Hi, Ms. Ramirez. Thank you for an amazing journey through Emory Park. I love you and will miss you. Ms. Ramirez, you're an awesome teacher and you deserve the world. We love you. 
Congratulations on your retirement. retirement. We, love we love you. Gloria, I want to congratulate you on your new step on retirement. I know it's going to be a new step with your new grandchild coming your way. And I just want to say it was a great honor having to work with you, with your fourth and fifth graders and working with your eighth graders. And I'm just going to say when I start the new school year, I'm so going to miss you starting the school year without you. But I just want to say thank you for the great adventures that we've gone through with our eighth graders. And I'm so going to miss you. And congratulations. Love you, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Um, congratulations on your retirement. I'm so excited for you. Um, even though I'm new at Emory Park, I know you were one of the few people that um, greeted me every day and just really made sure that I was plugged in and that I was doing okay at the new school. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, once again, congratulations and happy retirement and enjoy the um, downtime that you have and enjoy it with your grandchild. Um, hope to see you soon. Congratulations. Congratulations, Gloria. I'm so happy for you. Enjoy your retirement. Hey, Ms. Ramirez, I wanted to wish you a happy retirement and just thank you for all your years of service as an amazing educator, a mentor, a friend. Um, we appreciate you and all the years of your dedication at Emory Park. You will be missed. Thank you for being a great teacher. Hope you're retiring in style. <laughs> Sending you much love from half the Mullen family right here. <laughs> <laughs> she was my best uh, team teacher, you know, so I taught at Emory Park for quite a few years and then I had to leave. And I just want to say congratulations and now I'm happy because she can join me in this <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
with my assignments and let me do them in the class and use the kids as guinea pigs <laughs> and all the things that we did in the classroom and you're to me you are one of those people that you're just kind of down for whatever like you just keep reinventing yourself you know and I said you want to read Harry Potter you read Harry Potter and you know when we when you, I wanted to do things in your class you let me come and do them in your class and and we um, and you to me you're just you're one of those teachers who isn't who is also experiencing being taught by the people around them and I think that to me is such an essential component to being a teacher it's not that you go into that classroom and tell the kids how it is you go in there and you teach them and then they teach you and I think we have all like I feel like I've been able to teach you things and I you have taught me things and when Franca told me that he was moving you to eighth grade, <laughs> I have to say I'm your friend, but I was like, that's a great choice. <laughs> and I knew it was going to be upsetting, but I, if you remember, I told you back then, I said, S I said, Gloria, you're a teacher. You can do this because it doesn't matter what grade, you can still, you're still going to be a kick-ass teacher. And you have one week left to retirement, and you're still the hardest working teacher at our school. <laughs> And like Sid always says, Mr. Ramirez, you're super chill. So, <laughs> congratulations. Yay! 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 Woo! <laughs>